Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know, I'm in Houston, and if you haven't heard, we had just had one of the worst hurricanes that we've ever experienced. This hurricane didn't just destroy homes, it destroyed neighborhoods. It brought tornadoes, heavy winds, rain for days. It was so devastating that many homes flooded out and many people had to be evacuated. And with this emergency evacuation came chaos and people had to get out of their homes quickly. Because of this, a lot of people weren't prepared for what was to come after. The reason why I chose to do this video on my channel was because I wanted to help you out there who were either going to experience something like this or similar. And I wanted you to be prepared if you had to evacuate your home. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing to pack and one of the most important things to pack are important documents. These documents include proof of insurance, the deed to your house, tax papers, driver's license, social security cards, passports, birth certificates. These are all of the important documents that sit and live in your home. The reason being is, in case you have to put a claim on your home, you at least have a copy of your insurance information. You got a proof of your home, all your tax documents, just in case your file cabinet gets destroyed. You at least have copies of all your tax papers. So when tax time comes, you don't have to worry about that. You have your driver's license, your social, to prove your identity. These are just all important documents that you should include in your evacuation plan so that the process moving forward goes smoothly. The second important thing to have in your evacuation plan are underwears and extra clothes. We all know the importance of these items and I probably don't need to explain why they're so important, but having extra underwear makes it easier in the case that you have to be either placed in a shelter or you have to go to a friend or family's home. Because a lot of stores are closed during this time, you won't be able to purchase any additional underwear or clothes. So just preparing and creating a bag full of undergarments and extra clothes at least for a week will have you prepared in the case that you have to leave your home. The next thing are hygienic products. This includes soap, deodorant, toothbrush or toothpaste, shampoos and conditioners, just everything that you need to keep yourself fresh. In the case that your home does flood, and you have to walk through water or you get rained on, you, you can at least wash away the stuff from your body, remove the toxins from your body and be more comfortable in whatever place you're gonna be. The next thing to pack are blankets and pillows. The reason why I put this in the list is because of what I experienced. I decided to volunteer with the Red Cross and we were placed in a shelter to help out with anyone who needed shelter. Because the amount of people projected exceeded the amount of beds or cots that they had, we used blankets and pillows as a replacement for those items. They were really deficient in those items. Thankfully, people did come through and bring extra blankets and pillows. Those are really the more important things we needed. So packing blankets and pillows are essential in the case that you either don't have a bed or anything comfortable to sit on or lay on, and you can just use them to keep warm. The last thing to pack in the case of an emergency evacuation is money and to be more specific cash in the case that a grocery store is open and their power goes out in case their receipt machine doesn't work because of the lack of power cash will make the process much easier in most of the cases they will at least be able to write you a manual receipt and in these cases they're only probably going to accept cash so the importance of cash is extremely important in the case that you need to go somewhere else to purchase other items. Plus, it just makes the process much easier and flow more smoothly. The last thing you want to create is chaos in such a catastrophic situation. So above all the items that I suggested, it's important to create an evacuation plan. This is just a list of items that you want to have either in your evacuation bag or a list of people you want to include in your evacuation list. An evacuation plan will help prepare you for what is unexpected. My goal is to help you guys out there prepare yourself in times of devastation. Wait, before I end this video, I want to introduce to you the Spacer giveaway. For every DIY I create, I will be sending another one to you. So what you have to do is share my latest DIY video on Facebook and tag Rescue My Space and let me know in the comment section that you did. And what I'll do is one week from the day my video was published, I'll go on YouTube Live and introduce the giveaway winners. 
My goal is to spread the power of organization throughout the world. And you are the only guys that can help me do that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you next week. Bye.